Durali is here, and before we get started, I'd like to announce that Neebscast is working with an advertising network so we can hook up with sponsors for our show. It's a hookup. Yes, it is. And we're running an audience survey to help us connect with a sponsor that you might actually want to hear about. One that will pique your interest. And that's all we want. We want that so bad. You're damn right we do. So if you would, Neebs Gaming Community, please go to podsurvey.com forward slash Neebs and make that survey your bitch. It's your bitch. It takes less than five minutes and it's completely anonymous no one will ever have to know when you're finished you do have the option to enter email for the chance to win a 100 dollars amazon gift card and they give away one every single month they must be crazy of course they are so please go to podsurvey.com forward slash neebs to help us out but now it's time to get this party started oh it's party time <laughs> Hey folks, welcome to our latest podcast. What is this, podcast number one? No, it's, I don't know, I think it's five or six. We should Roman numeral it. Podcast letter I. That's it. So I had an idea and I was like, I like trivia. I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm going to put together a little trivia thing for the guys. And we'll have teams, two versus two, and I'll be like the host. And I'm intrigued. And then it, immediately it was met with negative response from Neebs. Yeah, <laughs> I hate trivia. Well, yeah. well, no, I like trivia if they're good questions. And I know you're not going to bring good questions. No, they're probably... <laughs> Damn. They're, wow. they're going to be okay. Mean. There, there are three... I've got 15 questions here, three of which Anthony picked, and I asked him to look at the ones that I have. Okay. Because I wanted to know, hey, do you think these are shit? And he's like, no, they look pretty fun. And he said he knew most of the answers himself. Huh. So I was like, okay, most of them. Nerd. All, them. all right. So, okay. th- so these questions are up to Anthony's standards, at least. And can we just go with one? That way we yeah, can... We ask can, us one. We can tell. Are we going to start off right Yeah. No, there are rules. <sighs> Uh, See, this yeah, is why I didn't want to do this. Now we got to spend 10 minutes explaining rules. Well, rules well, should be you have to answer the question right in order a, to get it right. Yeah, yeah well, easy. first of all, there's teams. You're uh, saying let's okay. read one, and I already said let's do teams. Okay, there's four of us here. All right. Got, so two I versus have, two. There's five of us. Well, four that are playing the oh, game. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Simon's driving this ship, guys. Uh-huh. Yeah, thank let's you. Give okay. a fucking break. Simon, here. please. Um, as you I've are. Picked, I have four names here. I've picked two out of the four, and I'm opening them up, and there's going to be the team. All right. The first Give me someone smart. Paper. Give me yeah. someone Dick smart. 44. We have Absro. Oh, already, Marty losing. Yep. And Duralius. Ah. Give me some right up here. Right here. Okay. Yes. We just now, high-fived. I'm going to read a question. You're not going to pick the rest of the names? Well, You're going to have... No, we don't need to. <laughs> well, there's, there's a... This is going to be like a buzzer I feel like we have a thing. moment like they had. Guys, this is going to be pick a buzzer Pick the next thing. name. Go ahead. High-five right now. Make it make it official. Dick. Fist explosion. Boom. All right. So they just fist bumped. I had a good... A good awkward, just to interrupt rudely, uh, I had a good awkward um, goodbye like handshake thing. I met at a wedding this weekend and um, he happened to be from like the same five square mile area I grew up. Really? And uh, yeah, it was kind of nuts. But uh, when he left, he went for the knucks. I went for the handshake. <laughs> and you just grabbed. I, I covered. I covered his knucks with the <laughs> the hand. With the, with the, hand. Paper, the ro- paper covers rock. Paper beats rock. You lose. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. But I was like, you could always take. Uh, like if someone went for a handshake, you could you could scissors that handshake. Yeah, scissors <laughs> over paper. Just say that. And I walk still away. win. Scissors yeah. over paper. <laughs> anyway, carry on, Simon. You're doing great. All right. So. <laughs> We're gonna. We don't have buzzers, but I'm assigning. I'm assigning a thick, and Neebs's buzzer sound to be boop. Okay. Can, You're gonna can, be a boop. I don't like that. All right. What do you want? Pick ding it. ding. Okay. Ding ding. I know ours. And well, yours <laughs> was gonna be. Eh. But it should be. Eh. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> okay. We're not going to know when you're actually chiming in, though, because you do that all the time. That's no, true. you will. No, no, yeah. no. I'll, I'll, I'll reserve it for the chime in. Oh. All right. So this is my example question. Maybe I can do a. <laughs> this is my example question. <laughs> okay. Example question. Okay. The example question is like, let's say, for instance, I said, why does Thick think he, oh, he's always right without having any facts. Okay. So ding, ding. you cannot ring in until I finish <laughs> reading what you think is correct. So are we not allowed to read what no, comes you, up here? You can read it, but let's just say I say, okay, A, he's smarter than everyone. You could ring in if you think it's that answer right at that point when I'm done reading. I think all those that. are you wrong. Just give, you just gave it the answer? Well, can I? Just saying. B, because he has a Napoleon complex. <laughs> yes, that is correct. It's because he has it. See, he waited really? until the end. Did well, I? this was just an example. Oh, okay, okay. That's a, Wait, no, this that's, is, that's oh, the wrong answer. Works. Yeah. So not the end of all the options. No. That, that, should be, to... that should be how you do it, though, so people can play along. Okay, and, we'll do it that way. Are you ready? Yep. Want to give it a shot? Sure. Is Thick's noise ding ding? 
We haven't established. Ding, ding. Okay. Now, yeah, you guys, your you guys team, yeah, our, your team is ding ding. 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 If you yeah. ding ding, you have to give the answer. Whoever ding dings got to. So then why do we have teams? Like why are we? We should be able to talk about it. Yeah. Hmm. Don't you use it when you team up? You communicate about what the Three answer seconds. is before I you. Know, I'm, I'm, we I'm could be talking about clean yeah. energy right now. Right. You want to talk about clean energy? No. Play the game. You see Elon Musk's those solar panels he came out with? Yeah. Those are fucking cool. They look good. They look like real shingles and stuff. They look pretty cool. Yeah. I'm jumping right in. What does the word Atari mean in Japanese? A, future. B, excitement. C, success. D, joy. Ding, ding. I will say joy. Eh. Awesome. Ooh, okay, awesome. now I, I'm going to, because I keep on getting interrupted, that gives you a negative point. I didn't wow. know you. I wouldn't have dinged hey, in hey. If, if there was going to be negative points. Well, First, we've heard this rule. Yep, yeah, it is. You and can't do what? that. We're, no, that's how we fly. That's no, how it goes. No, that's how you live. Rules. I'm going to protest. Live your yeah. life. I don't have to whatever. play this game. Yeah. It's not your Jeez. show. Let's oh, protest. Let's yeah. play. And yeah. there's a hell no. We won't play. Hell no. Nobody. We won't play. Nobody cares hell about this protest. No. There's a prize too. All right. Okay, we're back. Well, still, I shouldn't get a negative point after not hearing that rule. I would. I would. You should. In because you, I was just here, guessing. Here's why you should get a negative point. One, you were wrong. Two, you didn't even like talk to your teammate, like to verify. I well, know. that that negative point rule was brand new, and I agree with Thick. It should be implemented from now on. So you're protesting. Now, thousands of people just checked into our location in solidarity. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what to do it's right a peaceful now. Peaceful protest. Trying to run this shit show. It isn't working. Well, we should order food. Oh, we protest. Yeah, that'd I just, be good. Absher, how do you feel about this? I feel like sandwich. Simon's on point with his rules. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, I, don't uh, I don't care. Do they get to go now? You guys want to answer? We have a follow-up. This is like Family Feud. Oh, do, you, do you know the answer? I don't, I don't, I don't want to get a negative yeah, point. Yeah, I don't want to get a negative point. So yeah, because that answer. would suck to get a negative yeah. point. Okay. The answer is success. There you go. Nice. Huh. All right. You would have guessed had you not known about that negative point rule, though. Probably. Man. All right, we're gonna go. <laughs> Score! We're gonna go through this really quick because I can tell nobody's into it. It's like debate class. Right. Uh, what classic fighter game features brothers Billy Lee and Jimmy with nicknames Spike and the Hammer? Is it A. Smash Brothers, B. Double Dragon, <laughs> C. C. Snow you Brothers. Wait. Negative point. Or, or D. Ninja Gaiden. Ding ding. <laughs> what is your answer? Oh, it was B. B. Double, Double Dragon. Dragon. I also heard Thick say ding ding the same time. He said, yeah. Did you hear my ding ding? Nope. It All got right. overpowered by my. <laughs> it did. Simon, I think you need to buy buzzers so a light comes up on the, you know, when it comes down to that fraction of a second. How many questions? I'm still angry about that negative point. <laughs> How many questions? How many I'm questions? looking at it right now thinking I wish we had like five. Yes, yeah. we don't. <laughs> hey, We've got 15 questions. Well, he should get well, a penalty no. for. for eh. Early. No, he did I, thought, that early. I thought you said the do rule. It. Well, no, that, no, that rule changed. Okay, it so that's change. why I'm fucked. And you didn't I mean, listen. You, you, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, why you get five minutes. I just made that you're rule gonna, up. You're you're gonna, you're gonna, starting middle, over. It's a clean slate right Guess now. Guess what? Clean slate starting over. Okay. Listen, I'm going to give you guys, if you buzz in, I'm going to give you maybe five seconds. I'll tell you when it's up to answer. I don't fucking know. What year was the first Super Mario Brothers game debuted? A, 1985, B, 1989, C, 1987, or D, 1983? Wow, there's just silence here. I mean, I've got a good guess. All right, well, uh, I don't want to lose a point, uh, yeah, though. Yeah, I don't want to lose a point. Damn, the point, point, so point losing thing is really fucking putting yep. a kibosh it on it. Yeah. 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 It makes, it makes so, nobody want to answer if they're unsure. So then maybe there shouldn't be, but then everyone's just going to buzz in and guess. That's true. That's, right. That's true. That's how That's the games work. There's only going to be two guesses. I like the penalty. How about everyone passes on this one? We all passed on this. It happens. People are going to want to know the answer. Tie zero oh, to zero. The answer is 1985. Ah, Ooh, I, was gonna, I would have got it right. If I, I was I, torn I between 83 and 85. Yeah. Now, you know what? Can I, what? Is that actual Mario Brothers game or Super Mario Brothers was the key word? Super Mario Super. Brothers. So, yeah. How many total stars can be found in Super Mario 64? Is it A, 64, B, 75, C, 100, or D, 120? I've got a good guess again. E. Yes. Uh, answer is D, 120. Yes. Yeah. That is they correct. All, they roll with 120, don't they? They do. They do. I remember that. I played a lot of Super Mario 64. Are, are all these questions aimed at all the games that Absro played? Well, Every a lot, of, a lot of people played these games. Good job, Absro. Thank you. A great teammate. I feel like this isn't working, guys. I'm going to ask Doralius this question. I see a Master Chief one there. The, why was that? Be, you're the Halo buff. No, I'm not. Yeah, yeah you Madden are. Question. I like Halo. I'm not a Halo buff. Yeah, you're Halo buff. No. <laughs> Just because you say it. All right, I'm going to switch to something that I thought was interesting, and maybe it might bring up something. How old was the youngest professional gamer signed to the MLG or Major League Gamers? Hmm. A, 9, B, 6, C, 7, D, 11. No one's going to take this risk, are they? I have a guess. I don't know. I you gotta just too. risk, just risk it, just <laughs> fucking go, so we can answer. Ding ding. Yeah. Uh, 
Nine. <laughs> I was actually <laughs> going to say nine. Okay. Uh, wrong. <laughs> Wasn't worth it. But we get a point for trying. <laughs> was it worth it? I mean, I would. Yes. What do you? We do a guess. Oh thing. yeah, can we do a guess? Can I? I'll guess yeah. It? Oh no, you got one. Go, oh, I mean, I, I, I would eleven. Eh, it's you guess eleven. Six. Fuck. Wow. Six. Wow. wow. Six wow. years what old. Game? What's what interesting? Okay, this might spark a little bit of conversations. This kid started playing Halo at two years old. He entered his first competition at four years old, where he finished third place, and then he got signed when he was six. Okay, okay. that's crazy. See, this is yeah, the trivia that's... that I don't need in my brain. Yeah. <laughs> How do you survive when your car breaks down in the desert? Stay with the car? Uh, B, run off and look for it. Like, those kind of trivia. That's good stuff. This is good stuff. Look, okay. this is fascinating Yeah, for me. I think it's I, I get mad at that because I think parenting needs to be a little bit different than just, oh, I've got a two-year-old who's well, playing Halo. We want to pay him $200,000 this year. This kid might be uh, playing sports as well. We don't know the whole de all the details, but he obviously stuck out playing a first person shooter and yeah. at that age being that good that's fucking crazy it's impressive that's, that's that is impressive, impressive but yeah Six. i hope he's i hope he's in the outdoors doing something else as oh, well oh i do too okay so we're not keeping score of any kind why don't i just read questions yeah let's just yeah, go why through not? why don't we just go with almost like the how did they die just everyone takes their own guess how much money do you think rockstar earned with GTA 5 in the first 24 hours that it was released. Good lord, I'm looking at those options. I'm gonna say, well, I see C is 815 million. That's my guess. I, I remember hearing this number, actually. I remember but, hearing day one, they I, if they didn't hit a bill, I heard a billion on day one, so I'm gonna go with the highest. I'm gonna go with D. I'm gonna go with the lowest because some reason that just, I don't know, 635 for- four options. 635 million, 755 million, 815 million, or 905 million. All are crazy. They yeah. are. They're no, they're all crazy. They made one a day, ton of money with that. One day. Like, that's more money than, like, any movie would ever make. Yeah. yeah. Easily. So much more. Yeah. yeah. How much money do you think they've made if they made that in one day? They're in, they're in the probably around 10 billion. Oh, it's officially I I just stupid. I think I saw a number stupid. around yeah. there that they've made so far. I mean, they're still selling those shark cards, those microtransactions, man. People are buying the shit out of it. And you would so, think other developers would, would look at that model on taking your sweet fucking time, putting out a game that works. Yeah. Neves, no. take a guess at least. I'm going to go with D. 905 million. All right, so it's 815, actually. Oh, I got it okay. right. There you go. I get 10 good points. Job. Good Yay. job, Thick. So. Really good job. Um, something. All right, this is interesting. The Sony PlayStation was originally created for what gaming company? Ooh, I know that one. Panasonic? All right, well, then oh, if you sorry. know it, I th I think if I you know, know it, one. then I'm... wait wait until okay. everyone else. Oh, wait. Panasonic, I'm, I'm, Sega. Yeah, I don't wires crossed. I don't, I don't know. get my wires crossed. Microsoft either. or Nintendo? I don't know. I'd be guessing. Yeah, well, just guess then, dude. Just fucking pretend to play. Um, <laughs> just, you know, just, just, just take, to the take a guess instead of saying, I have no idea. Microsoft. I kind of want to go with Microsoft. Um, Nintendo. You think? Did you already give I an answer? Panasonic. Oh, okay, sorry. Nintendo. It oh, was Nintendo. Nintendo. Wow. And yeah. then they pulled away and... Yeah, I, that's what I say. I, I want to yeah, say I remember thank God the Wii U somewhere. came out. Anybody have a Wii U? I'm the only one, right? No. no we I got don't it. have okay. Rest of us are grown up. What is Pac-Man's name in Japan? <laughs> is it A, Chomp Man? Or Chomp, Ooh, yeah, Chomp I hope, Man. I hope it's Biscuit B, Man. B, Dot Man. <laughs> C, Puck Man. I think or it's, D, Biscuit Man. I think it's man. Dot Man. Uh, okay. C, Puck Man. Uh, yeah, I was going to say C as well. Chomp Man's my favorite. It is Puck Man. Oh. So, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it? Oh, hey, really, Puck Man. Oh, did you something. Make, did you make up Biscuit Man? Yes, I did. I you made, made up all up? of them, except for... I like that. Yeah. You think that got lost in translation? It was like, what's your game called? And he's like, well, Puck Man. And uh, like, yeah, oh, maybe. Pac -Man. They just say it wrong, don't yeah, they? He's like, oh, I tried this game called Pac Man. And, you know, he originally said Puck Man. Puck Man. Yeah. Puck Man. Uh, read your suit, Rary. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so we're wrapped with that. That's done. That, that shit is over. That was good. It was great, right? Mm. It was great information. Who won? Worked out really well. No one. Who Fun won? Trivia. Nobody fucking won. <laughs> Nobody won in that situation. We all lose. Yeah. Yeah. So, Rockstar won. But let's just talk. <laughs> Rockstar. Because you know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do from now on? I just realized this. Okay. We're going to come in every week and we're not going to have anything prepared. Yeah. We're just going to fucking go for we it. We do everything yeah. that way. But that's not officially what it was. So I don't have to fucking think about it, which is great. Exactly. Yeah. We'll just, we'll just How free do you shit. feel right now? I feel unbelievably Much better. Free. Does anyone have anything they want to talk about? Just, uh, well, I did see a, a pretty fascinating documentary, but the most fascinating thing I've heard in the last week was about the swift, a bird. Really? A bird called the swift? It migrates from like, uh, shit, somewhere up by the UK down to Africa every year. Okay. It's uh, six inches long 
And the wingspan's about 13 inches. It's shaped like a missile, very, very efficient flyer. 10 month migration doesn't land for 10 months. Flies for 10 land? months straight. That is crazy. Isn't it? They yeah. eat That's nothing a... but uh, airborne, like insects in the air. Mm -hmm. And um, they'll go up like 10,000 feet and like glide. You know, is that, is that, when, is that when they sleep? Speculation. Like birds have been known and proven. They've, they've attached wires and, and found out that birds um, do sleep while they're in free flight glide. They assume that, that swifts do, but they're too small to like do the tests on to verify that right oh, now. Oh, right. They need but, a really small wire. But still, yeah. 10 months flying straight. That seems crazy. That is crazy. Isn't it? Nature is crazy. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. I have you a 32 right gigabyte micro SD card and they can't figure out no, I know. why <laughs> these damn birds. I know, but I guess you know. No, they're making excuses. <laughs> yeah, we can, don't care yeah. for that. Come on, shove a GPS tracker at that son of a bitch's yeah. ass. There you go. I assume there's some thermaling involved. Absolutely. Wings out, catching a the thermal lift. Absolutely. And just gliding around. There is. Mm -hmm. So yeah, efficiency. That's crazy. But uh, I might as well just jump in. The other fascinating thing, uh, uh, the lady and I watched a documentary about, it was a Kim Jong-il um, kidnapped a director and a famous actress from South Korea. Did you okay. hear about that? I have. Yeah. Mm -mm. And uh, held them captive for like five years and Jesus. had them making films for him. Made a movie? Made 13 movies. Wow. wow. Because he's uh, he wanted to improve uh, North Carolina's film game. He The, the dude was a director. North that, Korea? Huh? You said, yeah, North, you said Carolina. North Carolina. Did I, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? I just said that? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, improve uh, North Korea's film game. So held them captive, um, treated them well, gave them everything they needed to so make. So treat them good and just have them make uh, movies about how awesome their country is. The thing is, like, they, they made the very first love story that was ever allowed in a, in a film. Usually all the things are about, you wanna work hard for the country and stuff like that. That was usually the themes. There was music and stuff like in all the previous movies and I would Kim love, Jong was- I would love uh, to watch these movies. Yeah, that'd be interesting. They show a lot of clips from them in the uh, in the documentary. Oh, um, wow. What was the documentary called? It's on Netflix? God, I can't remember, but it's made by Magnolia. It was at Sundance. I think that's okay. Drew Barrymore's company or whatever. So it was done pretty well. But damn, you know, five years captive, and then they defected when they were, because um, they were like shooting on location in, shit, it was like Belgium or something like that. Because they'd been shooting stuff for them for quite a while, and they wanted Kim Jong-un, or Il, wanted them to be known for shooting on location in different places in the in the world and kind of like make a spectacle out of it. And the first chance that they saw, <laughs> they broke off to the embassy. You wow. know? Yeah. Like, okay, so in this shot, <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. gonna get I'm on out. a train. Run, run! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. It, yeah. really, it really was fucking nuts. And sh I think he died, she's still alive, I'm pretty sure. And they, um, what's weird is you know, they, uh, eventually came to the States. And now they do propaganda for us. They moved to LA and he uh, he directed Three Ninjas. Really? Are yeah. you shitting me? Not shitting you at all. Three Ninjas? Yeah, yeah. that was a pretty popular fucking Oh, I love that. that I love that film when I was a kid. Yeah. Oh, the Three Little Boys? Yeah, yeah. Three Little Boys, Three Ninjas. Oh, no shit. Yeah. They, I mean, you three watch Little it White Boys, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, very Caucasian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of course.